We have a new mode, Burning Games, but is it any good? Should you be playing this game mode? Well, we're going to have a look at this game mode, see what it's all about, look at the pros and cons, and discover together whether it's actually worth your while. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to be looking at Burning Games, the new event mode. But what's it all about? Well, basically it's... you have to go around the battlefield healing each other. Which is unique for Blitz because it means you have to work as a team. Which a lot of people seem to struggle with, let's be fair. Now what happens is you roll out in this battle and the first thing that happens is you start losing your health. In fact, after 20 seconds you will start losing your HP. Simple as that. So you need to start smacking your teammates or ramming them. Now I've been playing this game mode on live streams all day yesterday on Asia, on EU and on NA. And a couple of things I've discovered about this game mode. Number one, it helps if you roll out in a high DPM tank, preferably one that has HE, because when you start shooting your mates, HE is the way to go. You generally get more damage when you do HE. So be mindful of that. Secondly, you need a tank that's got high DPM, because you do start losing your HP quite quickly. And the more DPM you've got, the better chance you've got of causing a lot of mayhem out there. Now, I've had a lot of detractors say to me, it's a rubbish game mode, it, it's not fun, and it's pretty poor. And I say to them, well, I don't believe you, because I have had oodles and oodles of fun in this game mode. You win some, you lose some. But I have had a great time playing it. I've been going around trying to cause as much damage as possible, trying to get as many kills as possible, and at the same time, healing my teammates left, right, and center. Now in this game, this was one of the EU live streams we had last night, and we had a count in on this game mode, and almost everybody in my Discord managed to get into the game. And we're having a competition who could do the most healing. And guys, we had so much fun. We really did. I mean, I did about 4,000 healing um, and some of the other guys did 10,000 and 12,000 and we had a great time. And the thing about this game mode, again, is realistically you need to get into a tune to really make it worth your while. And the reason I say that, it really, really is all about teamwork. And as I said, one of the problems we have with Blitz is unfortunately we generally don't like playing as a team and this game mode forces that. It forces you to play as a team because if you don't play as a team you're going to lose all your HP and if you lose all your HP it's game over, you're back in the garage and you're not going to be a happy bunny and you're going to turn around and say it's a rubbish game mode, I don't like it, bring mag games back or uprising which, to be fair, are equally good game modes. But I like this idea from Wargaming. I like the fact they are forcing you to play as a team. Because you know what? It's something the game really struggles with nowadays. And virtually all the games we lost yesterday, or I lost yesterday, playing this mode, was when the team didn't play as a team, but as seven individual players. And that then becomes an issue because you will lose all your HP. Now, shooting your teammates gives you HP, ramming them gives you back HP, shooting the enemy and penetrating them and causing damage gives you HP, capping the bases gives you HP. However, you do, oh, look at that, am I right? Yay! However, you do start losing HP left, right, and center as well. So, you know, it's not all thumbs up, I'm afraid. But I do like the game mode. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. And I think anything that promotes playing as a team in my book is a good, good thing. Oh, nice. Killed a grand wagon. 
However, as I said, you know, one of the things is you need, I personally think, and I, I tried a fair few tanks, and I really do think you, you, you need to roll out in a high DPM tank. Um, because the, the reload will kill you. If you haven't got high DPM, then it, 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 it's a struggle, I'll be honest with you. I know people who've rolled out in certain tanks, like the uh, the mouse in the E100, and you just start losing hit points. I mean, the, the mouse isn't too bad; it's got a good reload, but the E100, uh, it, it, I've seen a few of those, and they really struggle, really struggle. Even though they've got the armor, because the armor doesn't really mean anything anymore. It's all about the gun, and if you haven't got a high DPM and a good reload, it's pretty difficult for you to get the HP back into your teammates. That's the thing. And as you can see here, I'm shooting them, I'm ramming them, and we're, we're killing people. We're having a great time. I loved every minute of this game. We were rolling on the floor laughing. Everybody in competition tried to see how much HP we could actually, actually regenerate. And we just had oodles and oodles of fun. So there are a lot of detractors out there. Well, I would say give it another chance guys seriously because it really is a good fun game mode but as I said you really are forced into playing as a team and a lot of people do struggle with that it, it's just the way it is and like I say if you don't start hitting people with your own age with, with with guns if you don't start shooting your teammates if you don't help each other out then you're gonna have a bad bad day but don't be so harsh on the game mode because it really is oodles of fun you can roll around i mean in this game we lose this game uh, because we don't play as a team but i did something like five thousand damage and took eight kills and you know i loved every minute of it it was really good fun my tune mate bless him all he did was go around healing me. And this is how you've got to work, guys. You've got to work as a team. And if you work as a team, you will really enjoy it. Unfortunately, the only time I came across the map, uh, the um, the Wasteland map was on the NA server. And unfortunately, I didn't save that replay. But Wasteland is back. It is there. You will come across it every now and then. I haven't come across it yet, and I play wow i mean at least 30 games in this mode yesterday um on the eu server about 10 games on asia and about 10 games on na and i only came across wastelands once and yeah it's still the same map guys it's still got the sandstorm and all that sort of stuff but you know it's not a bad map a lot of people don't like it but it's actually not a bad map once you get used to it and here I am in the Annihilator, and I must admit, I mean, I've just done a video on the Annihilator, and I love that tank. And I'm loving it again in this mode. I mean, if you've got the tank, take it out in this, because few benefits that you'll get from this mode. It doesn't affect your stats, number one. You can grind a lot of credits if you pick the right tank. I mean, I've been making so many credits in this game mode, and you can grind a lot of XP. So if you're stuck on a particular tank and you, you know, you, you, you're getting fed up with the grind, take it out in this game mode. Do what you can. Who knows? You may be able to grind a lot of credits and a lot of XP to get you to that next level. And that is a good thing. And there's going to be a lot of you grinding tanks out there. I know I am. And I, on NA and on Asia, I was taking out tanks that I'm grinding to get me to the next tank getting that xp up and you know i've 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 earned a lot of xp oh i get wasted but i've still got a life left so it's all pretty good however we do lose this game as i say we didn't work as a team at the end unfortunately um and as, as much as i tried there was i just we couldn't complete the game but I didn't lose credit and I got some nice XP, as you will see in a moment. And that's the thing you've got to remember. Okay, there's going to be you veteran players out there. You're not grinding anything anymore. But for your new players, 
guys, this is really, really great game mode to get that XP up and to also get those additional credits. Oh, and by the way, guys, it's a bit of fun, okay? It doesn't do anything to your stats. It doesn't affect anything. You can't give thumbs up or thumbs down. It's really a bit of fun, guys. You'll lose credits if you lose, yeah, but hey, you'll get them back if you win. So don't be so toxic. I mean, I played a fair few games yesterday, and again, some of the players were being quite nasty, quite mean. There's no reason for it, guys. I mean, it's a fun, laid-back game mode. Just go out there and enjoy it for what it is. It's a break from the pressures of getting your win rate up and doing your damage and all that sort of stuff. So don't be so hard on your teammates. I mean, as I said, we had a, we lost this game, okay? We had a guy, not a great player in, 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 in the, the other tank that's surviving here. But it doesn't matter if we lost. What does it matter? He's enjoying himself. He's trying to play the game. He's having fun. It doesn't matter. Anyway, as you see that, 96,000 credits and a shed load of everything else. That's been my take on the Burning Games event. I've been Fujit. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do, and it costs you nothing. The only decent replays, or funny replays of the Burning Games, wing them across to me. Always, always enjoy seeing replays. Until the next time, guys, I want to do a big shout out to, firstly, my YouTube members, thank you very much, and my Patreons, thank you very much as well. Without you, these, game, these videos would be a lot harder. And a massive big thank you shout out to my subs, because without you, these videos would be pointless. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because really, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.